I know that there are like previous lectures up on D12. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys know about natural resources. I assume grade 5, grade 4, grade 3, grade 2, grade 1, grade 6 all kind of beat this to death. Um, what does Alberta have a lot of? What about BC? Gold. Lumber, fish, gold, not so much gold anymore, but they used to. There's a lot of wheat in Saskatchewan, forests as well. Yeah. Okay, so obviously it changes the way we live, yeah? Okay, good. You guys know about um, the whiskey trade? We've talked about that a lot. Okay. It talks about the Northwest Mounted Police to show that the United States, that Canada controls the territory, help Aboriginal people, um, help newcomers adjust to the frontier and keep the peace between First Nations and newcomers, yeah? So in the States, you guys know what was happening? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, First Nations were being massacred, okay? They would lead the army away, and they would have one minor battle where they knew that they would just kind of like chase them away and then another army would come in and wipe out their town their their wives their mothers their all the women all the children would be slaughtered while the men were away fighting this the american army okay so they'd have two battalions one battalion would kind of draw them away and then the other one would come in and wipe out all this these women and children okay so when the men came back to town, they would have nothing to fight for. Their village was destroyed. It was burned down. Um, how do you think that would help their spirits for fighting? Positively, negatively? negatively. Probably negatively, right? Um, and now they could attack them, and there's nothing. Even if you lost, even if the American army lost, they would have nothing to go back to. So you're slowly, systematically destroying this culture. Okay, this is what the Nazis did, by the way, to the Jews. It's systematic genocide. Okay, so the Americans are doing this to the First Nations. The Canadians are no better. We just did it in a different way. We sent them to schools, whipped them and raped them until they couldn't speak their own language and didn't know how to love anybody. And then we sent them back and said, okay, make your own culture. Okay, so they turned to alcohol, but we'll get to that. Um... So in the States, they were destroying them. They were killing them. The First Nations in Canada and French people, we worked very closely for 250 years at this point. Correct? 1608 until 1873. So 265 years we've been working. They've been saving us from scurvy. They've been, you know, helping us with the fur trade. All of these things are important. Um, so we started to use these mounted police and we started to make the number treaties okay uh when does it talk about the number treaties but that's what was happening in the states and that kind of influenced us and how we just stopped to sit okay good <laughs> um <laughs> that's how it influenced on what we did okay it talks about the three-pronged national policy first and we'll talk about that in your book page 202 three prong policy transportation transportation was railway so they brought in Asians to work the railway Chinese people these Chinese people obviously died okay uh, population to harvest the resources they targeted three types of people Americans British people and Eastern Europeans Americans spoke English okay British people were British. They're awesome. British people want more British people here. Obviously, they're there. Eastern Europeans are viewed as great farmers and really hard workers. So they wanted to bring them in and, and help them out. Okay, We needed farmers in the West. This is what was going to help us. And then the economy was the other prong, um, and that's tariffs. So we're going to protect our industry. If Alex brings in wheat 
for you know one pound of wheat and he can get it there for two dollars and mike for uh brad in the west has to do it for three okay we want brad's product to succeed not alex's because alex is american brad is canadian so we want brad to succeed so we tax alex's wheat and we make it five dollars so if you make that if you if you buy that wheat I have two extra dollars or three extra dollars so I can help Brad out with his living expenses, all that stuff. Most likely, Alex wouldn't sell his wheat in Canada. He would try, it wouldn't happen. Brad would sell his wheat for, what was it, three bucks? Okay, so Alex is now selling his wheat for three dollars. It's cheaper, it's better for Canada. We develop the industry, he starts to make money, he can live comfortably out west. More people see this, more people come out west. See how this would help people develop the West? Okay, so those are tariffs. So it talks about transportation, immigration, economic. Economic is tariffs protecting Canadian industry, plus the railway helps because if Brad is all the way out West and Alex is in New York, the railway connecting the West to the East will make things cheaper and you can get it there faster instead of taking a, a, a car, okay? Or sorry, uh, a horse. So the railway really, really, really helped. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of different ways they bought the... They, uh, the railway, they mapped out two different routes and then a whole bunch of people started to buy up all the land surrounding it, okay? Which kind of jacked up the prices. Then the, the Canadian government saw this and they, they decided to go a different route. That's why the, 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 the railway, I believe there's a picture of it, yeah, on page 203. <clears throat> they wanted to go, they wanted to go the dotted line, the proposed route, okay? Um, they instead went the actual route just because it was one, it was closer to America, which is good because if America invades, we have those railway and we can get troops there now, right? Okay. Second is because people started to buy a whole bunch of land up there and it's like skyrocketed the price and it wasn't going to be worth it. So they, they went south as well. There's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of other reasons why they decided to go south. But that's why Calgary started to boom. That's why Edmonton's the capital. We got the railway. They became the capital. OK, same uh, Regina was the capital because uh, Saskatchewan was or Saskatoon was a nothing province back or a nothing city back then. OK. And then it goes all the way through to, to Vancouver, connecting all those. We talked about the Asians and how they were second-class citizens and easy enough to kill. Yes? Okay. We talked about farms. You guys know what a section is? Yes? No? Each township is divided into 36 squares, which is called a section. Okay? Each section has four quarter section, each quarter section is 64 acre or 64 hectares or 160 acres. So a section is a huge parcel of land, okay? What we're working on right here is about two acres. So a quarter acre or a quarter section is 160 acres or 80 of these, okay? Get it? So each little area had certain parts on page 207 it talks about it <clears throat> part were divided for or sorry set aside for schools some for hudson bay company some for cpr land some for free homestead land okay and depending on when you showed up it was free or you had to pay for it. um when you arrived life sucked it was cold you had to build your own house there was you had to cut down any trees you had to remove any rocks have you guys had to, ever tried to dig out a rock from the ground? Yes. How much fun is it? Not very fun at all. Did you have just a shovel or what? Did you have machines? Machines really help and it still sucks. Okay? So imagine doing this with an ox and like a spade. It would life would suck back then. Okay? Um we scroll down or we're going down well, I'm on 212 right now. This is when it talks about um, 
protective tariffs on 212. There were people in favor of the tariffs, opposed to tariffs as well, because always in every social studies thing, there's always two sides, okay? If you go to 213, you can see the, uh, the poster that they started to use to um, push the national policy. A mechanic's home under the national policy. Everything's happy. Kids are playing. There's food on the table. Little daughter in the back there is uh, learning piano. Under free trade revenue policy or revenue tariff, no work, no money, there's no more piano. The kids are no longer playing nicely. There's bills all over the place. Dad is super upset. Doesn't seem like a lot of fun yet. Are there any questions? Chapter 9? Yes? No? No questions?